Six, former Missouri Governor Jay Nixon is joining a national campaign working to field a third party candidate for president in 2024. As Joe McLean reports, many are criticizing the organization's position. He was the most recent Democrat to be elected governor of Missouri, serving from 2009 to 2017. Now, Jay Nixon says he'll serve as the ballot integrity director for No Labels, a nonprofit political group claiming to support bipartisanship and centrism. The stated goal of the group's 2024 plan is to provide voters an alternative to a possible rematch between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. What we're doing is a reflection of where the majority of Americans are. We're not serving a political party, we're serving America, and we're serving the common sense majority. Nixon said in a press release, quote, Americans have the constitutional right to put any person or party on the ballot and to vote for whomever they want. Anyone who is against that isn't standing up for democracy. They're standing in the way. Critics point to the group's strategy of potentially running a presidential candidate next year. Former Democratic Missouri Congressman Dick Gephardt leads a group called Keep Our Republic and says he supports no labels and third party bids in general. If, if these were normal times, we would have no problem with this. That's fine. Anybody can run. Anybody can set up a new party. That's great. These are not normal times. We miss having a broken election in 2020 by a whisker, only because Mike Pence and six or seven Republican state electoral officials stood up against the pressure from former President Trump. Did we have a valid election? Gephardt says because of how close the 2020 election was in key swing states and because of recent polls showing many Americans still support the former president, a third party candidate this cycle would favor one candidate over the other. Uh, our messaging in the swing states, especially because they have the greatest leverage on an election, will be to say, if you vote for the no labels candidate, you're voting for Donald Trump because that's what we believe is the case. Critics of the No Labels group also point to the fact that it's a 501c4 nonprofit organization, meaning that it can participate in political activities, but it doesn't have to disclose its donors. Uh, gr the group says that's because, quote, we live in an era where agitators and partisan operatives try to destroy and intimidate organizations they don't like by attacking their individual supporters. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.